Well, today on Nation Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about the truth of business, window cleaning business, but business in general. So if you're in a small business, if you own a small business, thinking about starting a business, I'm telling you, it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned, WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully this uh, is not awful. It's always my hope. We've been doing this uh, seven years now. We're in the seventh year every single week. Have not missed one, knock on wood. Most of them are all right. So go back, listen, anywhere podcast or found a course. uh, And leave a review. Like I never ask for those usually. um, But I guess that helps if you review it on iTunes or Spotify or Podbean or wherever you're listening to. So leave a review. That would be amazing. But that's what we're talking about today is the truth about business. And there's something interesting. It, I was just doing something with uh, Jim Dubois. I stopped down. Uh, he was having one of his um, window washing wealth kind of uh, meetups, you know, seminar things. And we were talking about stuff, you know, and, and kind of going back and forth. And something was had come up that that. When I started my company, I was always into business. I was like, I love business. I love like the aspects of business. I love business. Window cleaning was the thing that I did. And there are people like Steve-O, uh, he loves window cleaning. He loves the act of cleaning windows. Like he does it because he likes that. He didn't do it because he's like, I want to start a business. He said, I want to window clean. I want to clean windows. That's what he enjoys doing. There's a lot of people that enjoy cleaning windows. And there's a lot of people who enjoy business. Window cleaning is a great business. So as we were talking about that, it's like, man, there, there's so many pieces to business that I think sometimes get lost. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. It's like the truth about window cleaning, but really the truth about business and window cleaning is what we do. So this can kind of really go across everything. And I'm a dummy who just sits here and talks to no one in my office. So, yeah. Um, take it for what it, what you will and take what you will away from it, I guess, if that's a thing. Um, but here's a few things that I really think are big, big points that people miss. And if you've never been on pro window cleaning or any Facebook group for window cleaning or just talked to people, you see that there's a disconnect, especially with people getting into it, or especially people who are struggling with their business. And they're so against listening, which is shocking to me. I would love I love listening to anybody. Like listening is, um, is so much better than just locking down like if you if you think you know it all and you don't want to learn anything else you're just going to be stuck right but you see there's an obvious disconnect between these people and i'll start with the first one the first rule of business or or truth about business is that it's not about getting as much as it is about keeping and this sounds ridiculous but i'm betting that every one of you who's listening right now in this is one of those things that I get this, you know, almost weekly where somebody sends me a message uh, and it's like, dude, the podcast was amazing. By the way, that's phenomenal when you guys do that. Just text me like, dude, this show is great. That's really genuinely makes me happy. So thank you for everybody who just like will text me when we have a good show. But the thing is, is that keeping business or keeping customers or keeping a reoccurring is so much more important than the getting. But the chase is so much more exciting. And I'll I'll explain this. Every person focuses all of their energy on getting new business. Right? What should I do for advertising? Here's my ad. What do you think? What do you like? Everybody's so focused on getting those new customers. Is that important? Absolutely. Every piece of business is important. But here's the thing that people do not really, really just understand. If you get one thing out of this show that that hits home, this is it. The difference between a good business 
in a great business, literally, without sounding cliche, is keeping versus getting. As soon as you get somebody, you're like, yes, I did that job. Now I got to go find another customer. Yeah. And you're just like, you're kind of like, oh, that guy, been there, done that. Like, yeah, oh, whatever. Well, they'll call me. Like, if you go out and you spend so much time when you're starting a business to get 100 customers, that's a lot. I mean, yes, a lot of you have more than that. But think about how hard it is to get 100 customers. After that's done, you're looking at getting 101, right? You're looking at, okay, where's my next one? But what about every customer that comes to you, your focus, like you focus on new customers, ads, ad spend, money you spend, but all that stuff that you spend to get new customers was put into keeping customers, meaning we talk about dentist clothes. Cha- you want to change your life in a business? You want to change, do, do the dentist clothes absolutely hardcore and it will it will be the biggest turning point in your business ever. But what that basically is, is just when you get a customer, your new goal is keeping that customer, right? They're all done. You're said the job is done. They're happy. Awesome. Yeah. Everything look, oh my gosh, it looks so fantastic. Okay, great. All right. And your, uh, thanks for everything. Here's your bill, blah, blah, blah. And your next appointment, did you want to do three months or did you want to wait six months? Uh, six months gets you into uh, March, be the 7th. And we have an appointment at 10 a.m. Does that work for you? That one little thing, which if you're listening, if you're out there working right now and you're like, oh yeah, that, well, that'd be nice, but you know, that one thing will change your life. The, the, the change comes is that every customer you get, they get into now your company and they're in that rotation. So that one customer, you work on getting them every six months. Again, imagine, do the actual numbers because so many people were like, oh yeah, a lot of my people repeat. Cool. How often? Oh, like, yeah, once a year, man. I think pretty much everybody. No, really look at the numbers. You will blow yourself away. But what if you got them at the latest every six months, like the dentist? You don't go to the dentist and then upset that the dentist gives you another one. You're like, yeah, of course, I need it, you know? Yeah, you have to keep up with your windows if you want them to continue to look good. You're so happy right now, I'm gonna make you happy. So many people focus on spending all their money. Ads, people go, okay, I got 10% of my last year is my advertising budget for this year. Wow, okay, cool, what's your retention uh, budget? Uh, I don't have a retention budget. So you're going to spend all this money to get somebody new and then they just come in and you get them once and then they go away. If you were doing retention, keeping them, every customer you get that ad spend is just, these are these giant companies. If you could do 90%, which I know companies are doing higher, but if you could do 90% of your customers as repeat, that's phenomenal. If you're not getting that and you're trying, be more confident really focus on the way you ask. Because I'll tell you right now, I could make you say a thing or think a thing by the way I say it. Absolutely. This is why confident people will always hold a room. A confident person will always be attractive. A confident person will always be remembered. Confidence. But if I say to you, I say, oh, um, uh, like it's $200 for the job. Does that sound right? It's like that. Okay. 200 maybe you're instantly like, Oh, this guy's not right. No, no, I don't think that's, no, that's too. But if I'm like, cool, awesome. Well, that job is going to be $200 and that can blah, 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 blah. Here's where, and I'm confident it now conveys it to you. So if you're not getting a good close rate, if you're not getting a good repeat rate, if you're not getting any of that, it's your confidence. It's how you say things. If you ask a bunch of yes or no's, hey, uh, my name is Jersey with XYZ Window Cleaning. Can I give you a quote? First chance for a no. Did did you want inside and outside, or just you want just outs or? Like, uh, I don't know. Do you like right? All of those things can come into how you get your clothes. Keeping people is so much more important than getting. Another truth of business is clean doesn't matter. And this is the one that people always, I see this so many, 
this is one of those. There's a few things that people say that infuriate me a little bit because it's like inside, like I just know so much is wrong. This is one of them. People are like, yeah, I don't have to advertise or, you know, how do you get business? And people go, well, if you clean a good window and you really clean it good, they'll come back. Uh, no. No. Now, well, let me preface this by saying this. Literally listen. You have to have a window clean, but there's levels. If the customer doesn't see, like they're like, oh man, these look great, I look through a window, and you're at 90%, it's clean. If you're at 100%, there's no difference between 90 and 100. Because if they see something, like a big streak or a smear, where people are like, oh yeah, leave windows smeared and see what happens, that's crap, you're doing garbage work. Like That's, that's not clean. I didn't say do terrible work, of course no, like you don't, bring your car in somewhere to fix something, they don't fix it, and you're like, yeah, but, you know, right? You have to be clean. But when you focus so much on that, that's not the thing. We're not pulling wool over people's eyes. But if I pull out a microscope, sure, I could get it 100%, but there's no benefit to 100% over 90. And so many people think that that's it. It's absolutely not. Somebody calls you because their windows are dirty, you make them clean, great. That's done. We didn't talk about how clean right? Clean is clean. If they don't see spots or streaks and it doesn't look like crap and it looks clean, it's clean, right? If you nitpick and you look at all your focus and it takes you twice as long, that doesn't help you. It doesn't help the customer. And people go, well, if you do cleaner window than the other guy, you'll get... No. If the other guy does crap work and you don't, yes, you're better. But it's all about the experience, not the clean. The clean is what we do, but... No one, no one really is calling you to clean their windows to clean the windows. Like that's not the end result, right? I'm looking outside and my view, I see dirty windows. Like it's kind of embarrassing how dirty they are, right? It's such a beautiful day and all I see is the dirt, right? I don't want to clean my windows because it takes me so long and then I turn all crappy. These are the reasons people do this. It's not the clean, it's the why. It's the experience that will always be better, better than the cleaning of the window. So don't get hung up on the clean. Yeah, it's got to be clean. You got to know what you're doing. The faster you can do it, right? The more efficient you get, the better and more money you make. But it's about the experience. The biggest companies around, the most successful, strong companies are the ones that have the best experience. The best experience. Think about that. Think about that. And while you're thinking about that, I could real quick, I'm going to get in shameless plug. If you didn't know, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's literally what I do for a living. That's how I live and how I afford my hair gel and brand name band-aids and uh, actual uh, Q-tips instead of the off-brand ones. If you have any orders or you just want to be like, dude, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to help this dude. No, I don't have Patreon. Nothing. You don't have to do that. It costs you nothing extra to have me put an order in, but literally it's my favorite thing. Favorite thing. Because that's how I make my money. So I get credit every time I put an order in. It costs you nothing extra. I can help make sure something works with something or it's a good idea. You got questions. Literally what I want is to be your rep. And my number is 862-312-2026. If you're listening uh, of the thousand people, thousands of people a week that listen, I want to put all your orders in. All of your ordering and don't think in your head, like, oh, it's just a small order. Every single order is absolutely amazing. It is not about a big or small. I love big orders. I love small orders, but I literally want them all. And there's so many of you who I've put in every order for you for years. So thank you for that. Um, but that's my shameless plug. I would like to make money. So uh, do that. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, check out the American Window Cleaner magazine. This is actually amazing too. Uh, this magazine I purchased now, like, when did I buy this? Two years ago? I think I've had the magazine two years, maybe three years, almost three years. But the magazine itself has been around since 1986. It's gone through a bunch of changes. The new version, as you heard me say, is like great. It's, and it's just cool to have something like that in our industry where our industry is so small, but something like that exists. I just think it's so amazing. Amazing writers, cool articles, awesome pictures. Like, I love being a nerd in the industry. If you do too, go to awcmag.com, get a subscription to that. 
Also, when you see all the cool stickers, that's from the magazine, so, you know. Anyway, okay, we're back to it. I have to do the shameless plug because, you know, I need money to live. You know, if all you people who know that I uh, go to the mountains in the weekends, or most of the weekends, got a place up there that, you know, I, there's a lot of fuel to get up there, so uh, it, <laughs> it helps. It helps, so thank you. Um, but uh, back to business. Another thing where uh, more people get into this, they revamp and they do new ads and they do things and a really hard concept to break in people is that look in groups and talks and even what you have. Look at your ads, look at your rap, look at your business cards, look at everything and look at it close. I'm telling you, you're gonna have more than one service. A lot of people are like, hey, it's XYZ window cleaning. We do window cleaning, pressure washing, roof cleaning, gutter repairs, screen cleaning, sidewalks. And they put all this stuff. And they're like, well, yeah, I want everybody to know what we do. So that if somebody, listen, if you have an ad and it says Jersey's window cleaning, we do window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter repair, screen cleaning, roof cleaning, concrete cleaning, facade washing, house washing, and Christmas lights. No one reads all of those first off. And no one goes, ooh, Christmas lights, yeah, I want him for Christmas. They see everything else, they're like, that's such a, 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 a little thing they do. Like, that's not even, no, they're probably not good. At, like, understand when you see somebody else's ad with all of those, no one, A, is reading everything. And no one is going to think that the 10th thing is something you're good at. So why are we putting it on there? All it's doing is watering down everything else and no one's calling about it. But they go, oh, I'll catch more people. You will sell less if you have more services. I know, I'm an idiot, you don't believe me, but let's play devil's advocate. If I have Jersey's window cleaning, we are the area's best window cleaning company. Now I have Jersey's window cleaning. We do window cleaning, pressure washing. No one even thinks I'm good at window cleaning because I do everything else. Why am I doing 10 services if I'm really good at one? And you know we do services. There's exterior cleaning services. I love that. That's my bubble, exterior cleaning services. But here's the thing. When you're advertising, find what that ad is for. If I'm doing an ad for gutter cleaning, it's an ad for gutter cleaning. I'm not putting all my other services on there. I'm just doing gutter cleaning. Because guess what, if I got one service, I'm really good at that service. Even if it's my 10th on the list. People are so lost in the fact that they think that if they put 10 services, they're gonna have 10 times more people call. It's absolutely not the case. If you don't believe me because we're blinded kind of in what we're looking at, let me say this. Your air conditioner goes out. You're like, oh man, I gotta get somebody. Hey, look at this one. This is, uh, you know, XYZ uh, air conditioning HVAC specialists. And this other one, they do, it says uh, XYZ, they're uh, HVAC, plumbing, electrical. They do car washing. They drive for Uber. Like, I know I'm kind of being facetious and I wouldn't even say funny because it's not a funny joke, but... I know I'm getting to the extremes, but that's to get your brain in the same mindset where we know gutter cleaning falls in place with window cleaning. Not at all attached, but guess what? We're doing exterior services. I already got ladders. I got this, blah, 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 blah. Makes sense. The customer instantly goes, well, this guy, I'm not hiring you to do my HVAC because he also drives Uber. That's your fact. When you're talking about the exaggerated, that's what they're doing with you. You are not selling 10 times more if you put 10 services. Focus on one service and focus on the ads to that one service. Now that does not mean if you have 10 different things you do, you can do 10 things, absolutely. You can do all of them, but you need to do individual ads for them because then you're really good at that one thing. If I send an ad out for just Christmas lights, guess what? I'm really good at Christmas lights because that's all I do in that ad. If it's my 10th thing, no one's gonna pick that out of the line. I go, I'm gonna get this like part-time guy, you know, it doesn't make sense, right? Another piece 
that, especially in the world of social media. And a lot of the young people are getting into it. Back when I started, the only thing you could do was compare yourself to the company you thought the other guy was, which is bad too. Everybody thinks the other company's so, you know, crazy. Oh man, they're gonna be so big. But now it's social media. There's so many people out there saying how amazing it is, how big their company is, and no one is turned on by the strength of a company. Now I do private coaching as I sometimes mention, and one of the things we do with companies is we really see the inside. We really see a piece of the company that no one else does. Gross is for show, net is for no. No, like in your brain, no. And that's the whole thing. So many people are like, oh man, I only hit the million dollar business. We get Absolutely. That somehow in our heads is like a valuable thing. And listen, when we start business, like, dude, I want to hit 100K. Dude, I want to hit 250K, right? That keeps moving. Dude, I'm going for 500,000 this year. Phenomenal. That is a great goal, but only that. The strength of the company is what matters. If you're doing $500,000 and you have 10 trucks on the road to get there, your efficiency is crap. You're paying yourself like nothing. But you're at 500000 They're like, you could do that so much more efficiently where the company is stronger. The more money you make as a company, this is not a whole, you know, we make more money and, you know, screw the, 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 the poor person. This is a business, real business, takes money. When you talk to people, and I do this, I talk to hundreds of window cleaners a day, literally. This is not an exaggeration at all. A big thing is that people sometimes you say like, okay, SEO, we'll talk about, I talk about SEO all the time. SEO, right? Search engine optimization for your website is the best thing you could ever do for your company ever, ever. Nothing comes close, but SEO is expensive. Like if you get crappy SEO, it's garbage. I mean, again, I have Monk SEO on here all the time. We did a show with Bobby just a couple weeks ago. They've done phenomenal things. I know for a fact they are amazing. Monk SEO, by far the best SEO company I've ever dealt with and ever had the chance to even talk with. But they're not cheap, right? I don't know pricing, but like $750 a month, something like that where it starts. And people are like, oh, I can't spend seven. Okay, so if you got something like that at $750, A, to cut off $750, it should be super easy for you. If it's not, that's where that money comes in. When people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, we are doing like 500000 but I can't do SEO. You're not strong enough to have, like, that's why we have to have money is because stuff costs money. But if I can spend seven fifty, which is not a spend, it's an investment, 1,000% corny as that is. But if I can give them seven fifty, and I'm getting in $10,000 worth of new work, am I spending seven fifty, or am I making ninety two fifty a month? And now put them into that six months. I'm making $10,000 every six months from here on out because of that. Right? But that costs money. So does buying new equipment. So does updating. So does water fit. Oh, I don't have it in the budget right now. Huh? If you don't, you're not charging enough. You're not whatever. You're not focused on the strength of the company. You have to make a lot of money to be able to advertise. The more money you have to advertise, the more money you make. The more you have to spend on equipment, the better you are. If you have a great website and you're spending that $750, $1,000, I know people are spending $2,500 on SEO because they're in a bunch of markets. That SEO, $2,500 is bringing you $20,000, $40,000 plus a month. That is where businesses grow at these giant rates. These companies are like, oh, you're only three, three years in? I know companies that hit their first million dollar a year in like three years. That is phenomenal but it has to be done right this is where people don't understand strength will always beat size size great you're a million dollar company but it's not about that don't focus on what that is that's a great goal for that outside and maybe shows you value but what about the inside what about the strength of that company you're not charging enough i'll tell you that you're probably
probably not efficient enough. There's probably spaces, scheduling, equipment, technicians. Like there's a lot of pieces you could be better at. Focus on that to get to that. And I'm telling you, when you do strength, and I've done this with people, but I've done this with strength, just like talking to them. Like, okay, let's not focus on that number. Let's focus on strength. And they do three times more than they ever thought they would because they focused on the, the part of the company that makes everything else fall in. Strength always beats size, always. And probably one of the biggest things that is known but not understood is that you need to have fans, not customers. At windowcleaner.com, if you've seen any of our stuff, if not, check it out. It's literally windowcleaner.com. Great website. We have everything, right? We have 15,000, 16,000 SKUs. We have the world's largest inventory of window cleaning supplies in our warehouse. I mean, literally. Probably not even supposed to say, but like, we have, well, I won't even say. Millions and millions of dollars of paid inventory ready to ship. We are incredibly fast. Almost every order we can get out same day before, you know, what, three o'clock East Coast time. Ship same day. Our warehouse, there's like 60 something people that work there, right? Phenomenal. But as big of a business as we are, our strength comes in who we are. This is why when you see people and they go online because some people are really dumb and they uh, were like, oh, this broke. What should I do? Instead of contacting us, they go on Facebook and they put this big thing out because they're like, this is the only way somebody will react. Bro, we live for customer service. This is what we do, right? We will make it right all the time. That's what we do, right? Our customer service is amazing. Our knowledge is amazing. What we do to help, our content, everything we put out there in the world is literally to help you guys. And what that does is it turns a lot of you into fans. Yes, your customers. That's awesome. Like I only make money. The only way I make money is if I put an order in for somebody. That's how I make money. I don't make money on anything else. I don't put out this podcast for seven years. I don't make money to put it out. I make money to put orders in, right? So yes, obviously that's what we want. But there's so many people out there who love us as a brand. They're just like connected. People wearing WCR shirts and hats in other countries. People buying swag and then paying duties and taxes and shipping to ship it across the world just to be part of this. That's a fan. We have the most amazing fans in the world. That's why we do what we do. That's why we are the size we are, the strength we are. That's why we trump everything else. That's why we, we have the amount of market share that we do is because of you guys, is because of the fans, the people who love us because of, of a connection. That's what you have to have. And nobody will ever be a fan of a window cleaning company, but they will be of you. They will be of the experience. They will be of how they felt. They will be of how they talk to you and how amazing you are. Just, man, we had such a connection. If your friend is a plumber, you will never hire another plumber. You don't even ask them. You're like, dude, this thing broke, man. Can you fix it? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in like uh, on Tuesday. Sweet, thanks. Like, that's a fan. A customer, you'd call anybody who's cheap. If you're losing customers because they don't connect with you, fans are so much better than customers. So much better than customers. A fan is a customer, but a fan will stick by you. Like the Cleveland Browns has fans, no matter how much they suck, I don't know if that's your team, but there you go, little little sports jab for you. But they always have fans, always. You have to have fans over customers, and you have to figure out the way to connect to people more than like, oh, you said yes, okay, that's all our connection. Fans will always be customers, and you need to focus on that. You need to create an environment that creates and, and builds fans, not customers. And that's it. I'm off my high horse of business, but I love business. And maybe you like business. Maybe you only like just the window cleaning side of it. It's cool either way. But either way, if you're listening to the podcast, 
leave it a review because I really should be asking for those. I don't, I don't even know. It's like 100 reviews or something. It's pretty bad. But a lot of us are out in the field. I know it takes time, so I get it. Um, but save my number. I'm going to give it to you. If you're on your phone right now, pull your phone out. Uh, you could save my number. I'm going to give it to you. But that's what I do. I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. Literally costs you nothing extra. Not a penny extra. It's the same amount if you put it in or I put it in. I can check fitment. You can ask questions. I could be a guy. Even if you're not putting an order in, I'm just your guy. Like You're like, oh, yeah. What, i got to ask him a question. Well, let me figure it out. I'm going to send some pictures to Jersey and see what he thinks. That's what I do all day, every day. I want fans of me. I want people to to get so much value from me that they're like, oh, dude. Dude, I've gotten so much from you, man. I got I to, gotta, like, help back. And it literally costs you nothing to help back. It just letting me put orders in. It's how I make my cheddar. So my number is 862-312-2026. And my name is Jersey with a J. So save it. Save my number. I'm the only Jersey you have in your contacts, I'm guessing. Save it. Let me be your rep. It would be phenomenal. And I'd be super excited. I want more fans. Also, you're listening to a podcast about window cleaning. You're a nerd like I am. It's cool. This is what we do. Everybody doesn't get it when you're in the encapsulation of business. They don't understand. They're like, wait, what? You go to conventions for window cleaning? You listen to window cleaning podcasts? <laughs> what? You also get a window cleaning magazine. Go. It's awcmag.com. It's filled with articles on business. It's filled with new products. It's filled with amazing insights. It's filled with pictures and, of course, the sticker sheet. All that stuff. This is what we do. This is your your life is going to be this business. Make it the best you can. Be as smart as you can at it. Do the most amazing things. Always be listening. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.